SQL Diagnostic Manager is a powerful performance monitoring, alerting, and diagnostic solution that proactively notifies administrators of health, performance, or availability problems within their SQL Server environment via a central console, web-based dashboard, or mobile device. It minimizes server downtime by providing agentless, real-time monitoring and customizable alerting for fast diagnosis and remediation. SQL Diagnostic Manager support all SQL Server versions from 2000 and above. Collection is centralized and agentless. Nothing is installed in your server. You can adjust your collection cycle as low as one minute. All data collected is stored in a customizable historical repository that allows you to view from the console what occurred in the past or run historical reports. We provide you with three main consoles to view the collected data. The first one is a thick console, a .NET console installed on your computer or laptop that allows you to configure, manage, view real-time and historical performance data, and create reports. The second one is the web console. It is a web browser-based console, allowing you to see the performance of your instances. And the third one is a SQL DM mobile, a mobile-friendly web interface for your smartphone or tablet devices. You can organize instances in views, a logical grouping of instances. By default, you will have views for all servers, critical, warning, informational, and any server in maintenance mode. This allows you to focus on a particular sector of your environment or instances with a certain status. The quick at a glance box gives you quick information on your instances. Hover your mouse to see top alerts, see quick information of the different areas, and see resource usage for your SQL instance. Tags are attributes you apply to your instances. You can assign multiple attributes to one instance, making it easier to find instances or do certain activities in bulk. For example, if I want to upgrade my virtual environment over the weekend, I can right-click the tag called virtual and set it to maintenance mode at a specific time. SQL Diagnostic Manager is also divided in the following sections. Overview, Sessions, Queries, Resources, Databases, Services, Logs, and Analyze. You can see alerts from many areas within SQL Diagnostic Manager. Quick at a glance, where you can hover your mouse and see detailed information. SQL DM Today, where you can see the active alerts that you have for the day. And the alert history, where you can filter by metric, date, severity, and find any alerts that occurred in the past. Let's take a look at an active alert under the SQL DM today. I see that I have a blocking condition going on right now. Clicking on that alert takes me to the sessions area where I can see the blocking condition. From here, I can get additional information from the blocking report. The blocking report is a snapshot in time of the blocking condition with additional detailed information like the host, the user, the application, the database, and the last command that was issued. Showing blocking conditions in real time is great, but what if that condition already occurred in the past? With SQL Diagnostic Manager, I can use the history browser to navigate back to when a specific condition occurred. Here I have selected a blocking condition for a specific server over the weekend when I was not in the office. I can right click and show the historical view and it takes me to that specific time and date. Here I can go forward or backward for each collection period. In my case, is every minute. Deadlocks are also shown in a report format. Although deadlocks resolve itself in SQL Server, we can still get a report on which session got terminated. We can export that information into an XDL file that can be easily shared 
with someone else so they can open it in management studio. In SQL Diagnostic Manager, we can see a list of the top worst performing queries in SQL Server. First, you want to define what is considered a bad performing query. In my case, I'm doing it by duration and anything that is above five seconds. Then you can easily filter the queries you want to see either by time, application, user, or any other filter information here. I can sort any column for easy identification of the problematic query. There are two main views, signature mode and statement mode. Signature mode shows all active queries grouped by the raw signature of the statement. You can see here that this type of statement ran X number of times. This helps me determine how often is this query hitting my SQL Server and if it's causing any degradation with the resources on my SQL Server. The statement mode allows you to see each individual statement exactly as they were collected by the query monitoring trace. Query weight stats are shown in two different ways, over time and by duration. Over time, you can see the time of the day associated with the weights and their total wait time. By duration shows you the biggest offender by total wait time, allowing you to drill down to the statement, the application, the database, the client, the sessions, and the users. I can start my drill down from applications to see which weights are being generated from a specific application. In SQL Diagnostic Manager, alerts can be enabled or disabled as you wish. Thresholds are set by default, but can be easily adjusted. Another important concept is the use of baselines. A baseline defines the normal use of that metric for a specific period of time. You can customize baselines to define your peak periods or business hours. Baselines will show on this chart to guide you with the optimization of your thresholds. Or you can simply use the recommendations that we give you based on your normal use. Baselines are also used to alert based on a percentage above or below the current baseline. This will make the alert more dynamic as the baseline will fluctuate over time. There are several ways you can execute a response to an alert. An email is one. This will allow you to pass variables to your own customized template and based on certain conditions like days of the week, tags, specific alert status, you can generate an email. You can also run an executable or batch file. Or if you wish, you can run an agent job by loading the job and even specifying a specific step within that job. You could also run a SQL script to automate a corrective action. In this example, if my transaction log gets full, I can automatically run the script, passing several variables and truncating my transaction log. There is also a TemDB information to see if there's any contention within the TemDB and the associated sessions using the TemDB. On their table and indexes, you can see the size, dependencies, index, and index statistics of a table. You can also see the fragmentation of that table and even issue a rebuild or update statistics right out of the console. In the analyze area, recommendations are given based on your selection of areas you like to analyze in your SQL Server. Areas such as blocking process, deadlocks, resources, database and server configuration, index and query optimization to name a few. You are presented with a finding list of all the expert recommendations that we have found on the server. You can select each finding to see more detailed information on why we issued the recommendation, details about this recommendation. In some of them, they include links to external articles to learn more about that condition. And also, in some cases, you have a SQL script that you can run directly from the console to optimize the condition. There are over 30 reports that come out of the box with SQL Diagnostic Manager. You can run these reports on demand, 
schedule them to be sent on an email, deploy them to SSRS, or you can actually export them to Acrobat or Excel. For more information, please visit idera.com where you can download a full trial of SQL Diagnostic Manager for 14 days and 15 instances. Thank you.